This is just a brief introduction to the video for part two. I finished my uh, septic pipes uh, in July 19, July 2023, and I did start using the toilet in the mobile home, and it's real nice not to have to brave the rainy days and the cold mornings to go out to the cabin. I still need to bring in water uh, to flush the toilet. Um, as uh, you may have seen uh, in my last video, and I'll put a link in the description, I didn't have much luck washing clothes in the tub. Uh, and shortly after that, a friend of mine offered to let me wash clothes at their place and um, also shower and, and did a little cooking over there. So that was a godsend. Another thing is I liked the 290 Jackery so well that I went out and bought a 500 Jackery. And I liked that so much I went and got another one. And it came in handy ooh, using the electric blanket, which didn't pull, but maybe 20 or 30 watts. So I was glad I had two Jackeries. It helps a lot with charging my tools for my battery. I mean, my batteries for my tools. And I started charging them with a the solar panel. And I'll leave the link for that in the description. I also take showers with a bottle shower. And I'll leave a link for that in the description. I'm working on getting running water. But I've had a delay with the solar setup. I, I'm in the process of building a shed to hold the solar components and keep them dry and I'll, I'll be making videos of those uh, too. I really miss running water and really miss being able to make a regular piece of toast. I miss having popcorn. I hope uh, when I get this shed done for the solar components I will be able to do those things in there temporarily until I get something uh, solar set up for the mobile home. The first part of this video drags a little bit and so you may want to uh, fast forward to the end where I share a few more gadgets that have made my life easier off grid. And so with that here is a little bit closer look with uh, about my daily life here off grid and my surroundings. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. It's June 12th, and I've kind of lost track on the weeks. It's about the ninth or 10th week that I've been here uh, without running water and without septic in the mobile home. I've only been working about three days a week. Uh, it's still cool today. I'm on my second to last drop here. I'm going to be gluing this last drop together hopefully this week. They cut the hay field the other day. And it's real pretty. They're loading it up today. I want to show you some of the things that I've gotten that have made my life a little easier here. Um, so this is called a Nebo Micro. And I'm going to take it out of the box here and let you look at it. It comes with its own little chain which is nice and, and uh, a little key clip. So my friend let me borrow theirs and I really liked it so I went ahead and ordered one. It's got five positions. You got real bright, medium, low, and then you've got a green light and a red light. So it's a rechargeable The rechargeable spot is right in front here. You just open up this right here. If 
forgive my dirty fingernails. I'm working on the mower today. And then this, this button holds it on and off. It's extremely bright and uh, been very useful for me. I've got it on my Jackery charging out of, the, out of the box and it's got a red light so I let it charge till that turns green. One thing I like about this unit is it has a memory so it remembers the last position you had on if you have that position on more than eight seconds. I'll put a link for this in the description. Uh, another thing I just got from Amazon that makes making my life a little easier is um, this wall switch. It's hard to see in there, but this is what it looks like. And it does take four AAA batteries, but it's been three or four months and I am still flip trying to flip the switches. So this makes me feel more at home, much easier, and much more light to see and hear to clean. I will be putting these up in a couple other places wherever I uh, end up trying to turn the light switch on. They secure three different ways. There's magnets here, Velcro. And these uh, screws, I'm just going to use the Velcro. It's a little wobbly, but I'll add some more tape to secure it. I'll try to put one here right by the front door. And I'll leave a link for that. I uh, got those from Amazon. Here's another thing. It's a fan. It's got three settings. And it's nice uh, in the evening when I'm in bed and I need to cool off a little bit. It charges on the back here fully with a USB and then you can just take it anywhere. I think I got that discounted at Walmart um, in the clearance aisle. It's December 24th and one of our last warm days before winter. I decided to start a fire and try to cook some baked potatoes. Uh, let's see if they're done. Okay, not quite. They've been in there about an hour. All right, another 30 minutes, they should be done. I still haven't got running water yet. There's been a lot going on since July when they hooked it up. I'm building a shed to hold my solar components and um, I'm going to make a video on how I did that. And then I picked out a spot for my solar panels and I'm going to um, make a video for that too. And uh, once I get it, I'll post it in the description for the link. I think it's about probably 64 degrees today, so it's a real nice day, but we're going to start getting in the 40s. I've been real thankful. I haven't had to mow. <laughs> saving me some time and having time to do some other stuff. It's gotten down to about 19 degrees and this um, guava tree is still, seems like it's doing okay. So I'm real happy about that. And my other trees seem to be holding up. The deer have been getting into the elderberry bushes and eating some of the leaves. Since I haven't gotten the water going, I, I can't have the inspector come yet, and so I can't put up the, the skirting for winter time. I'm just hoping everything will be okay. I did get the heat situation temporarily figured out. I've got a 30 pound tank hooked, hooked up to a 30,000 BTU heater and using a USB fan to blow the air. It's working pretty good. 
also got a big buddy, Mr. Heater, hooked up to a 30-pound tank in the bedroom, too, and that's working pretty good. I'll, I'll leave the links for those in the description. My brother and his wife came from Colorado and helped me get this plastic uh, laid down better. Uh, it's not blowing all over the place. That was real nice. I figured out I had about I have about seven walnut trees on the property, and as you can see, the ground is loaded. I got about two trunkfuls picked up and gave them to friends, but there's there's a ton more left I just didn't get to. Found out that you can actually tap them for syrup. So maybe that's something I can do in the future. Uh, this is a gully where all the water runs down in. And uh, I had, last time the bush hog guy came, I had him mow all of this down. Okay, the potatoes got done. Oh. Take them in and see what they taste like. Okay, I got my potato here and I'm gonna try a piece of it. Very good. Mm. I won't be able to eat the skin, but it tastes like a, a regular baked potato. A little bit of a smoky flavor, a tad bit of a smoky flavor, but it's good. I'm getting ready to wrap up this second part, and after this, I probably won't have any more parts that go with my experience off-grid. From now on, I'll be trying to do uh, some videos on sol my solar projects and gardening and my fruit trees and repairs. I did want to mention I have been cooking on this big buddy. And this is just a paint grate, and that's why I got the big buddy, is so I could have a bigger uh, grate to cook on. And this is how I've been heating water to wash up in, and how I've been heating water to do dishes. It's been working now that the weather got cooler. Um, I could not do this in the summertime. I've been able to cook things like oatmeal, soup even made some rice. That's the kind of oatmeal I've been using. It just takes a few minutes on low. Uh, it's not organic though. I did find some organic steel cut oats at Kroger, which they take about 15 minutes to cook on low. You can cook on medium. This big buddy gets pretty hot on medium. I usually have it set on low in on the 30 pound tank I've got connected you can even turn it on high if you want high will light both burners I've just mixed a little bit of molasses and honey and banana in with this oatmeal one thing with the cooler weather I have been able to uh, put some Things. I still don't have a refrigerator, but I have been able to use the cooler parts of the house to keep things for three or four days. So that's nice and feeling a lot more like home being able to cook a hot meal indoors. One thing with cooking with the Mr. Buddy, just be very careful. You don't boil anything over or get any food down there on the grill or you might ruin your heater. <laughs>